Claude Bowers here, host of the program today. Thank you for joining us. A most wonderful and unusual uh, man of God with such a great testimony and legacy and so much outreach around the world. I, I, I don't know if it's appropriate, but I call him the Billy Graham of Asia. <laughs> but he's, he's just amazing and he's humble. And, and first of all, Joseph, welcome to the program. But in the very last verse of the book of Matthew, Jesus says, until the end of the world, I am with you always. Oh, <laughs> oh if that Jesus is with you, <laughs> Jesus does not lie. So no matter where you are, he is always with you. And we can get Jesus' wisdom then. We can get Jesus' love. And we can get Jesus' holiness, and that can make us holy. And even now, I'm nothing. But the fact that Jesus was with me, that's what changed my life. Wow. So powerful. Your Excellency, there is the judgment statement on your sins. Would you like to see it? I asked him. Statement on me. Oksu Park, you committed sins. And you come short of the glory of God. You're a sinner. But you are justified. You are holy. You are clean. Why? Because Christ carried all your sins. That's why. 각하 이게 하나님이 각하에게 내린 각하의 판결문입니다. Your Excellency, this is God's judgment statement on you, Your Excellency. I told him. John Atta Mills, Ghana President. President John Atta Mills of Ghana has committed sin. 그런데 하나님의 영광에 and comes short of the glory of God. Comes short due to sin. If you have sinned, you cannot reach. However, God loved you, God loved me. He sent Jesus. And he bore all your sins at the cross. When the judgment is given by the judge, no matter how much I proclaim, I'm not guilty, I didn't do it. If, if the judge says you're guilty, five years, then you go to jail. No matter what the lawyer says, no matter what I argue, yeah. if the judge says five years, then it's five years. And no matter what people say, I always committed sins. I committed so much theft. I told so many lies. I'm a sinner. But, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But you are justified because Christ Jesus died for your sins. Therefore, you are righteous. I argued with God. I said, I'm a sinner. God says, no, you're righteous. Who wins? God wins. It's hard for me to say, but it's easy for me to say I'm a sinner. It's so hard for me to say I'm righteous because I was not righteous. But if you say I'm justified, I am righteous. So the words of Jesus entered my heart and cast out the heart that said I'm a sinner and the thought that I'm a righteous settled in my heart. I am righteous. I am righteous. I am righteous. Because God says I'm just Justified. If Bible says I'm justified, I am. I am righteous. But if God says I'm justified, I am. From then on, I began to say I am righteous. I know Oksu Park, he's done bad things. He stole, he lied. How could he be righteous? Go ahead and say that about me. But the judge says I'm righteous. So that day, the president of Ghana he rejoiced so much. And such were some of you. Thieves, covetous, drunkards, revilers, such were some of you. However, in the name of the Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God, but you are washed, but you are sanctified, but you are justified. You are justified. Not you will be. You are justified. I'm justified. I'm washed. So says God. And that's the God I believe. Yeah.
Praise God. Yeah. Everybody yes. said amen. amen. Yeah. 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 That's so yeah. powerful. No more so powerful. powerful. It says in Romans, If God says we're justified, who can condemn us? Yeah. Yes, that's right. Amen. Yes. Nothing like it I've ever read. Comprehensive, complete, amazing. What he's done and what he's doing. And, uh, this your guest had 1,200 churches worldwide. You just, just getting started. So praise God. Such an inspiration to me. And that great sermon you just heard. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You shall be saved. He imparts his righteousness to us by faith. If we believe in our heart and confess Jesus with our mouth, we will be saved. You believe, you receive, you let him change you by the Holy Spirit's power. That's the way it works. That is the kingdom of God. This is the gospel. When this gospel in its fullness is preached worldwide, then the end shall come. And this man's helping it happen, and you will believe what all he's doing. So the important thing is, and God's the judge, right? God's the judge. If he says I'm righteous, then what else can anybody say? Yeah. I'm, I'm convinced. Yes, that's right. That's the person who believes in God. Yeah. Yeah. Throwing away your own thoughts. Yeah. Even though I think I'm a sinner. Yeah. But if God says I'm justified, believing that you are righteous. Yeah. And yeah. God says I'm justified. Amen. A wonderful opportunity for me to be around these people and to share this with you. This is the reason I started Christian television over 40 years ago, was to get the voice of God the years of ministry, success he has, and the zeal of evangelist, like I've never seen before. Your so sermons you are being currently broadcast and, uh, over the internet as well. And on Super Channel. And, and on Super Channel. Yes. From yes. time to time. Amen. Then if you open it up here, there's a bio. And I started trying to, I read it, of course, and I, I started making some notes, and I said, no, no, everything in there needs to be said about this great man, Dr. Park. It is so inspiring, so comprehensive, and uh, just great to have the man himself in the studio with us today, uh, Dr. Park. Yeah, it's been a joy right. today to just have an extended program and spend time with a great man doing a great work, <laughs> Passion of Christ. Worldwide, from the Seoul, Korea. Beautiful. Well, it's an honor today to have you as a guest. Thank you for coming. And a partner in the gospel, for sure. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Amen. It was my honor today to meet Pastor Park and to interview him and to get some insight from his great books he's written and enjoy an hour on television with him. So it was an honor, and I am so grateful for his work and those who contributed to his coming to Christ and his wonderful testimony and world outreach like no one I've ever met. So God bless you, sir, and God bless all of those who are supporting his work and partnering in the gospel with such a great ministry.